I. Today we talk about detectors. So, detectors are used for traffic signals mainly. You can use them for uh, public transport lines as well. But I think let's focus on the signal controller use because and vehicle detection use for like VSPA mainly. That is, I think, what most people use them for. To place one, you select detectors, control, right click, and you can drag the length. The length can be zero as well. That is accepted, but it can be long or short. Short is usually if you want to detect demand in front of a signal head. So this is a signal head. You would place it somewhere like that so it can detect a vehicle. You can place it a bit further high up, relatively uh, short length detector that can be used in VSWAP to detect like uh, if you want to extend that signal a bit longer. So you can detect if vehicles are still uh, you know, coming to the signal. You can always use a relatively long one if you, can, if you want to detect somewhere that uh, vehicles are on that link. When you go to the details here, you need to assign a signal controller which one you want to use. And the port number or channel number, it is um, the number you can use in VSWAP. Multiple detectors can have the same port number and they will be treated as they are in parallel to each other. So like there is an OR, logical OR operator between them. Type can be standard ports, present PT calling. So PT calling is for model public transport. <coughs> Probably not something you are going to use in the first uh, models. Presence, this is mainly for like occupancy kind of measurements. Pools, it's more like just giving one pools if a detector front end or rear end um, is on the detector. <coughs> Standard is probably the one you want to use most of the time. The location here can be set manually by dragging and moving it, or you can just type here what you want. So like before stop, so this is like the signal, so it is three meter now. Uh, what you can do, you can put 10 and it moves it back and it also updates the location. You can also change the link and lane here, but probably better if you manually move it. You can do restrict it to um, certain PT lines if you use it as a PT line or for normally vehicle classes. So um, by default it goes for all vehicle classes, but you can just set it to the ones you want. Other small thing factors, I wouldn't change these. You can read in the manual what they do. There is like a function uh, with the uses. I wouldn't change these. I just leave them at default. Display, show label. If you want to show label, you can untick it. If you don't want this to show a label when you uh, use a global label for all the detectors. Acoustic signals, you can just basically load the WAV uh, file here. A sound file and whenever the detector is uh, detecting then the sound will be played. Um, so here if you deal with pedestrians if you place the detector on a link which is used as a pedestrian area then this detector changes and pedestrian classes will be shown. Okay thanks for watching.